Eastern PA Weather 30 Meteorologist Bobby Marchant here with your outlook for the weekend August 13th and 14th, 2016. Excessive heat warnings are in effect across uh, a good portion of our area and heat advisories up further to the north across the Poconos. And it is going to be one hot day again today. Actually, uh, if you did not uh, get enough of the heat yesterday, and we had some heat indices here that were in the 105 to 110 degree range yesterday across uh, a couple of locations in our coverage area. If you did not get enough yesterday, you're, you're, you're really going to get your money's worth today because the temperatures are expected to go up by a couple degrees from what they were yesterday. And the heat indices are going to peak today as well on, on Saturday. So uh, this is going to be a very dangerous situation if you're outdoors, if uh, you need to check on the elderly neighbors that you may have and uh, make sure they're okay and they have air conditioning because that's, that's where you want to be here on Saturday and Sunday. Uh, if you're going to be outdoors or have to be outdoors, uh, make sure you drink plenty of water, take uh, some rest in the shade, uh, frequent breaks in the shade if you can, and get to an air, air conditioning place if you can, if it's available. Hopefully it's available because this is going to be very oppressive today. Heat uh, heat pump high sitting out here in the uh, in the Atlantic. This is the Bermuda high, and it's just been for the last couple days pumping up this this ridge here. Now what this ridge is doing is keeping this cold front, which is situated back here, it has not allowed it to move. Instead of coming through like a normal cold front does, it has not been allowed to move because of this ridge sitting here. And this ridge is, is what is responsible for the excessive heat and the oppressive humidity. And that's going to continue again today. We're expecting heat indices today again in the 105 to 110 degree range over a more widespread area. Some areas might get up to about 115 today. Eey, unbelievable. Uh, but these showers and thunderstorms that you're expecting later in the day to provide some relief, I wouldn't really get too excited about that. Just like it's been the case the last couple days. Uh, we're going to go over to uh, the Nam High Res Future Simulator Radar at 5 p.m. here on Saturday. And uh, it's been very isolated and very widely scattered in coverage. So uh, some days have been a little bit more active than others, but it's been very widely scattered. And it looks like it's going to be the case again here. I've started this off here. Uh, here's 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So and this is on the uh, the 4-kilometer Nam for Saturday. And it doesn't get much better, better here on Sunday. Uh, I got some stuff across the northern tier here on Sunday, looks like. And this is uh, 2 p.m., 5 p.m., 8 p.m., and 11, finally. So it's going across northeastern PA. Again, areas down for the south and east are probably going to get missed out of this. So it uh, could be just a very hot and dry, well, dry as far as uh, no rain, but uh, definitely won't feel dry with the uh, the humidity values being so high. So here's the temperatures. This is what we're looking at here for, for Saturday. Uh, mid to upper 90s. These are air temperatures. You add in the humidity that's going to be oppressive. Dew points in the 75 to 80 degree range are going to make dew points uh, or can make these heat indices uh, generally 105 to 110 for most. Some areas will exceed that and go up to about 115, maybe even higher 115 in some areas. Like I always see Dover pretty high here, so you know I wouldn't be surprised to see them sneak above like they did yesterday briefly. Uh, but uh, this is going to be a very dangerous situation across a very large area. Uh, so just take it easy if you're out outdoors at any point this weekend. Sunday, going to the map again here. Sunday. And uh, you do have another chance for isolated, widely scattered showers here on Sunday. Uh, but again, these are pretty much hit or miss. You can see the front, what the front did though. The front moved down a little bit further to the south. So it's going to bring the focus down a little bit further south. So areas up in here will get into a little more action than they did previously. So I do think you have a better chance here for late, uh, late day, afternoon, evening storms here on Sunday. Uh, and that may cap temperatures a little bit, but I think your temperatures are still going to be well into the 90s in many locations, and the heat indices are going to be almost as high as Saturday, but not quite. Okay, so except for southeastern areas, uh, you know, you might even get it into a shower or storm a little bit further southeast down here, too. Uh, but hopefully you can get some relief from that, too, because otherwise it's going to be oppressive. Here's Monday. Monday doesn't look like there's much going on here at all. Maybe a late day isolated shower or thunderstorm. And then finally Tuesday... Uh, we're going to have the cold front itself moving through. Here's your cold front. Now she's sitting right like this now. So the focus, more concentrated showers and thunderstorms getting going here on Tuesday with a cold front passage. Another area of low pressure moving off to the north, kind of trying to ride that front there. Has its own cold front that's trying to kind of kick this thing out of here. And I think it finally does. Oops, we got to went too far. I think it finally does uh, by Wednesday. Uh, so our, our front's going to come through in the Tuesday, Wednesday time frame. Here's your front here. This is looking on, uh, this is now a Wednesday, later on Wednesday. Front started to come through. So areas of the northwest are going to start getting 
uh, a little bit of a break here as far as the humidity is concerned, but down south and east of that front, until that thing comes through, it's still going to remain oppressive, and I think that finally does for everybody here on Thursday, and that's probably your best chance for uh, a rainless day, but uh, we'll see. Uh, this pattern is very, it's going to be a very active pattern. You can still see out in the Atlantic here, right over here, here's your high pressure. It hasn't moved too much, so these fronts are, what, what's happening is the, the fronts are coming in here, uh, like they always have, instead of just going right through and marching off the coast, and then cooling us down and giving us humidity, is running into these ridges here. And this is the pattern. You're going to have a, have these ridges established in the east here. So what happens is you get a big ridge here. Cold front comes up against it and goes boom. Can't go anywhere because it's not going to run through a ridge. And then you get these scattered showers and thunderstorms like we've had all week. You have that front sitting out to the west over the Ohio Valley, but it can't come through because until this ridge breaks down, and if it doesn't. You're going to keep running the same pattern. I think it's going, to, it's going to be a pattern that we're going to be seeing going forward for a while. Not necessarily as hot, but uh, we will see this uh, happen quite often where you have these fronts come through and they really can't go anywhere because they have a ridge being established in the east. So we'll see how that works out as we go into the long range uh, and take a look at that here later in the week. But right now, just make sure you take it easy this weekend. It's going to be a very, very difficult weekend if you're going to be outside for any prolonged period of time. Please drink plenty of water. Uh, stay hydrated and uh, make sure you get into air conditioning when possible. I'm Eastern PA Weather 30 Meteorologist Bobby Marchers. That is your outlook for the weekend, August 13th and 14th, 2016. Have a great Saturday and Sunday. Be safe.